Howdy, folks. Number 57 of the spaghettis. Spaghetti, I mean. Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show. We, we, need, to, we need to get Derek to get that team, man. <laughs> Spaghetti and Friends. Ha -ha. <laughs> Got a great show for you today. I do. Got some fake news. Top 10. Got some sanctuary highlights out there. Yes. And lots of other cool stuff going down. Yes. Right here. Park merger, right? It's finally real. <laughs> so. But I guess we can kick it off with the number one source of news. And information. Give it up for Vincenzo and some fig news. What's you, going bro. on in the chat? Gojira. Patricia was popping. Patricia? A blue, blue loading circle of death, of course. Uh, uh, gotta wait. Uh, um, until my until my uh, s s screen share uh, uh, comes up. Technology be after you, Vinny. What? Uh, yeah, I know. Google. They're after me. Uh, they're after me. That Zuckerberg man. You better make that half to run faster, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> what the <laughs> shit? The fucking what? Oh my God! Now yeah, it's not really hard. Wait, 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 guys, I have to leave the call and come back because right now it's, it's not responding. All right, man. Do what you got to do. Okay. Well, I mean, while he's gone, um, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about uh, did you see the the TFCon stuff for uh, Transformers? Yeah. It's looking pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Especially that fans' toys, Astro Train. Oh yeah, I want that. That looks cool. I'm trying to find the pits, uh, picks to pull up. Yeah, let me go on TFW see if they got some there. But yeah, they revealed lots of cool stuff there. Um, let's see. There we go. All right, well, while Vincenzo is in disposer at the moment, I will jump in for some uh, special report. Special. Coming to you from on the scene, we have Smith with some Transformer news. What is it looking like out there, Smith? Yeah, uh, lots, uh, lots, uh, lots of robots. Okay. It's everywhere. Uh, okay. Um, here's just a few things that uh, TFCon had uh, shown us. We've got ourselves uh, a Bumble, uh, um, Bumblebee movie Blitzwing supposedly coming out now. I'm not sure. I think this is a statue or this might be one of those posable but non-transformable figures. Oh, it's it's 3A. It should be posable, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. Not my bag. I'm pretty sure this thing is probably a grip. So. Yeah, my only issue is the face, still bayish, but everything else is pretty okay. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah. And then uh, I guess they got some Prime coming soon. That should be cool. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> some uh, other stuff from Banana Force. Banana Force? <laughs> Banana Never Force. Never heard of them. They must be new. Oh, man. Oh. I like them already. <laughs> well, here's some, here's some of uh, Banana Force's stuff that they got coming out. Oh, R.I.D. Yeah, looks like someone's going to try to dip into that well a little bit. Oh, pretty cool. Sweet. But this here looks like this is a, this is a model kit? Yeah, it's uh, actually, I don't know. Could not. Usually these skeleton things come, like when I do the Gundam figures, they'll come like this. You can build the skeleton and then build around the skeleton. Yeah, yeah. Metal frame. What? I don't know. Maybe it's a figure. I don't know. What the, I guess we'll have to wait and see from uh, Banana Force. Banana Force. 
Whoa, are we going to do it with Ultra Magnus? Uh-huh. Then we got this new company called New Age. Mm. Coming out, uh, I think these are actually like legend scaled. Okay. Because I saw the pre-order prices for them, and they're like 34 bucks. Mm. So you got Jazz. That looks pretty sweet. Yeah, uh, it's not bad. Then you got his uh, repaint. Yeah. I forget the name for this dude, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Yeah, Looks all right. I mean, it's just jazz. And oh, then they did one in Shockwave. That's kind of weird. It is a little bit. Uh. Well, new age. <laughs> Saying F you, Takara. <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> for your money. Program, man. Like, come on, look at this. So okay. these are all little guys. I think some of them are, and I think these. I think these are gonna be masterpiece scale. Oh, okay. But I know a couple of them are like legends, and uh, from what I heard, I heard these are gonna be masterpiece scale, which they look pretty nice. I hear they improved upon the chest, unlike the the masterpiece version. Yeah. So who knows? Have to have to wait and see, but look good. So. Um, yeah. Yeah, what else has got uh, add-ons to any of the siege? You want some hands? You want to get them hands? Then there's Iron Factory. Iron Factory's doing a lot of the IDW inspired Transformers, yeah. so all their Transformers <clears throat> are gonna have that IDW look to them, which is not bad. If like if you're into the comic, it's pretty good. Yeah. So, and also these are also like legend scaled. So if you don't have that kind of room in your in your collection, these are these aren't too big. They ain't gonna take up that much space. I mean, until you buy until you buy the whole line, <laughs> and you just got like one whole top shelf. Well, that's pretty good looking. Ooh, a Nemesis Prime. Yeah, they were the name of the C. I want a masterpiece scale runabout and run amok. That's what I need. But these are legends. But yeah, still pretty good. They also, yeah, doing uh, the DJD. Mm-hmm. Which I might just get the this little legend size DJD because I've been waiting for masterminds to make these bigger dudes. I don't know if they're gonna do it. If they do it, uh, they ain't made no announcements. But at least I get the whole set and the legend size. It wouldn't be too bad. Huh. Oh, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh. The hound. Like I said, they 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 stepping up on the the smaller size transformers. You know, they ain't gotta be just like <coughs> your basic plastics and hollow bits. You can you can actually make some kind of upscaled, you know, smaller size transformers without mm-hmm. sacrificing quality. Yeah. So, and like I said again, it's it's definitely for those who want to collect, but might not have that kind of space. So Some. legends, legends, legends are good. The sound wave is pretty tight. Yeah. You know, so you know, this is for those who got that limited space. This is this is the kind of this this is you can you, you can get down with like legend size transformers and be straight. So and they're a whole hell of a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Like compared to compared to anything masterpiece scale. Now this is another company coming out with their own Omega Supreme. I don't know what the hell this is. This is sad. He's looking really malnourished. Is he like the anorexic Omega? I he must be he like Omega's older brother or something. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Something happened to him. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that. That's just I'll stick with the fans' toys. Thank you. 
But it's got its own little set. But I don't even know why you would even like. But at this point, if you are, if you didn't get the fans toys or you didn't get the DX nine, like why would you mess with this? Especially considering Hasbro's doing one, right? Yeah, exactly. There's one coming out in the siege line. So like, why would you? Why would especially the way it looks? Like, oh no, thank you. That is just like, huh. That's a rough Omega Supreme right there. Uh, what's this? I think what's this? Uh, Shing Jung. Uh, this might be the the knockoff company. I'm not sure. I don't even want to. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. But it's a pretty decent Megatron, I guess. So, oh, oh, Zeta yeah. is coming out with their writing, which is the uh, train combiners from the Headmasters Japanese series. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so they started off with, they already got one. And Zeta's been doing, killing it right now in the combiner scene. Yeah, with that Bruticus? The Bruticus, uh, their Superion is pretty good. Mm -hmm. They got a uh, fucking Predaking coming out. So they're doing that. Their movie Bumblebee looks okay, but I still don't care. Yeah. And yeah, this is the oh, Superion. Cool. Good. Now they are parts forming, but it, it's 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 worth it to get the look. Like the legs and the upper torso are parts forming. Well, yeah, you can't not parts form to get accuracy. So I'm fine. Yeah, with, so, you know? yeah I'm cool with that. Like is it, if I have it look like this, shit, please sign me up. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Takara, people are buying the. So to sit there and say you you don't want to make new figures or new IP because you're afraid they ain't gonna sell. Everybody's buying these because they're the only one that's gonna give you combiners right now in a masterpiece scale. Yeah. So it's like, why are you you're missing the boat? <clears throat> okay, this one is a new one because uh, apparently this is the one's more G1 color accurate. Oh, okay. So I mean, I can kind of see it a little bit. Still looks good. I, I'm, I'm tempted to get one of these, but I'm waiting to see what Fans Toys is doing because this is their take on Superion. Ooh. Yeah. Pretty. We got two different versions, like with the mouthpiece without it. So That's you got. Brilliant. And I think it's two different chess pieces, too. Wait, which yeah. one is this? this is OX. It's cartoon. Okay. All right, well. And also, here is their Minasaur, oh. which also, I think they have it coming in a cartoon accurate look. So I'm like, dude, this if, if this is like, because I know this is a prototype, but fan stories is usually kind of straightforward. If this is what you see, and this is pretty much what you're probably going to get. Yeah. That shit looks badass. Again, it just makes me really excited for when they do Devastator. I mean, Devastator's been done, though. Devastator yeah. was, like, the first combiner, like, every... The only people who haven't done a Devastator is fans' toys. <sighs> but I might have to save up to get this Minnesota, though. Because that is fucking badass. But see, fans' toys got more coming out, too. And I'm like, oh. You already know this is probably like an easy 500 sell right here. Yeah. A little more expensive than a prime, but at least you get five figures. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and all five figures are masterpiece scale. They ain't. Psst, sir. No, it's good. Oh, yeah, man. They, 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 they got they, they coming out. I think Chinese New Year just ended, so it's about time for them to get to work. Mm. So they're about to go hard. Like, their last drop was that hoodlum. Hoodlum was the last thing they dropped before Chinese New Year, and, they, and it was quiet for a minute. And now I think it's over, so they got, like I said, they got a lot of fans toys. It's got a lot of shit they, they about to drop. See that motor master. Oh, yeah. Like I mean, this honestly, truthfully, this would I would say if it if it's if it's as good as it looks, it might be worth the investment just to get that kind of good ass combiner. Mm -hmm. 
because I know Zetas is selling their whole set of Superion. I think it's going for like 400 <clears throat> for five figures. I think I think it's four. It might be four or five, but either either way, you still that's not bad for five figures. All right, let me pass these uh, stellar cars. Where's that Astro Train? Damn, that shit looks Man, good, though. That vehicle looks good. Oh, yeah, they got this coming at Warpath, too. So, like I said, they got this. I have to save up for this. Uh, I know they got, they got a brawn. This brawn looks really good. Yeah. And judging from this, I see a lot of die cast. Oh, yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. And I see they got a beach comb or two. Oh, bro, so I'm, just take my money. Can I just start like a payment plan? <laughs> just like fun, funnel half my check. Just like, look at when something comes out, just send it to me and just take the money as, you know, as necessary. Yeah. Like, can, can you send half my check to this place? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Now, I hear they're also going to have this in two different colors. So, one's white, one's purple? Yeah, pretty much. One's like a the darker shade, kind of the cartoon color. And then there's like the lighter, like that grayish one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm going for cartoon, so. Yeah. Dude, you know how long I've been waiting for an Astro Train? I mean, there's a third party that makes an Astro Train, but it's not. Everybody, it's, I guarantee you, if this thing comes out anytime soon, you're going to see how many people start selling. They, they fucking, it's called Chigger. You'll see how many Chiggers you'll see on sale when this Astro Train drops. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, bless it's got the special part with the, yeah. Wings, yeah, man. It's and look at that scales well, masterpiece scale. So you, you already know. Planet X. Yeah, they've been they've been also dabbling in IDW inspired Transformers. Doing pretty good too. In fact, they got that new um. That Star Saber, that's the one on that. He got pre-ordered. They make it, and I think they're about to finish. They they also did um a lot of the video game figures, the Wolf of Cybertron. Yeah. Uh, this is some more part of that collection. I see they got an Ironhide. Oh, which is cool. Yeah. And here's their Star Saber. And that's the one you said Matt has on pre-order? I don't think this is the same one. This oh. looks a little different, but I, I I know he got I know he said he pre-ordered one of them, so but this one looks good too. So I don't know if this is the same one, though. It looks a little different. And some fans hobby. What happened to Vinny Vinny just disappeared into the vortex? I'm, uh, I'm here. That's all right. We still, we we can still get through the fake news. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, a lot of transformers. Uh, no, no. Like I said, a lot of stuff <laughs> dropped at TFCon. Uh -huh. We got some mastermind creations. They got their IDW. Uh -huh. This is a um, Fort Max. Huh. Like in the comic now, he's not a he's a he's not a city. He's just some dude. Still, still can be a headmaster, but he's just some dude now. Pretty good. I have actually a different company that made this. I have a version of it, and it's pretty sweet. I forget the name of it, but it's Ford Max. So, and and I like how the car revealed nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, Bumblebee man. Well, see, TFCon really they don't 
Hasbro and them don't show up there. This is more third party. Hasbro and Takara don't usually show up at the TF cons. Yeah. They'll show up to the big ones like the the Comic Cons and shit, like the real. But like TF cons is usually more fan, you know, you know, crowd supported type thing that just kind of got big, and now they just do it every year. But it's not. You know, like I said, the only people that usually show up for these are. You know the third party companies. No, because what's funny is I was telling Vinny this earlier is um, I was making a video earlier about the new Alien Resurrection Queen, which was just a repaint, and I was saying in that video how the car should take notes because NECA is giving you new characters all the time, and they're doing these side characters on the side for like completionist purposes, and I don't know why Takara doesn't do that. I wouldn't mind a Bumblebee 2.0 or a Prime 2.0 if they're putting out a Jazz and a Mirage and whoever else. You would think. Like I said, it's it's one of those things with like, yeah. it could be done, it should be done, but it, they just won't do it. And, you know, the, the argument is, oh, well, we don't feel it'll sell. But clearly it'll sell because everyone else is making one and they're selling. <laughs> they're not just sitting there and no one's buying them. No, everybody's buying them because th they want that to add to their collection. So it's uh, well, that's pretty much it for that. But yeah, that you know, just take the time to actually like do it. And you'll see people actually want to you know buy what you're selling. Oh man, the chat's blowing up. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Mr. V was good in the chat. Mr. V. Mr. V. Like a long conversation between uh, Gojira and Mr. V that I missed. Let me go ahead and get in on that. Yeah, man, you got to pay attention to the chat. But I couldn't see the chat because I right, says Vinny. I guess yeah. I don't know what happened to Vinny. Uh, I'm right here. Uh, I guess I'll do fig news. Hey, hey, I'm right here. So uh, I'm right here. What the fuck? Because I don't know what I don't know what happened to Young Vincenzo. He got uh swept up in a tornado or something. So we're gonna. Oh wait, can you not hear him? Nah, I couldn't even see him. Oh, he didn't hear him or nothing. I am right here. I, I can't hear him. I can see him now. But I can't hear him. Uh, I am. I, I can. Make well, wait, wait, wait. I, I can, I, Vinny. I, I can hear you, but David can't hear you, but he can see you. Oh, that is so but weird. What the, the hell? Can the chat hear Vinny? That's the that's the real yeah, question. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Chat. Let me know if if you can hear me. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Skynet, man. I told you, Vinny. I don't know. Chat. Can you guys hear Vinny? Vinny, you say something. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, guys, it is me, Vincenzo. <laughs> yeah, I really need you guys to guys let, let me know if you can hear me. We can, uh, the can hear you. Uh, can hear they can hear me. Cool. That's weird. The, yeah, it, yeah, that's know, really weird. I'll, I'll guess I'll let Vinny do the fig then. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, um, uh, uh, let's do it. Oh, oh, hopefully, no technical difficulties. Thanks, uh, thanks, uh, uh, Google. Uh, you, 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 you have fig news. You have, have fucked us. How right. is it I can't hear him though? That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, tell Smith um, to try exiting. And man, now we're having these issues fucking last night, fucking with this goddamn Jimmy. Google, man. Um, Vinny is saying, try leaving and coming back. Maybe we can hear him then. Maybe that'll Ho work. Oh, hopefully that works. It, it usually works. We got a Freddy versus Jason. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah this is the NECA Freddy versus Jason. Ultimate Jason Voorhees uh, figure, but uh, obviously from your farm, your boys, NECA. Hey, man. <coughs> <coughs> Mr. V said, 
<clears throat> no gay formers this time, Vinny. Uh, yes, I am aware. Oh, no gay formers this time. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I second that, uh, Mr. Lee. <clears throat> here come, uh, comes with a, a lot of cool accessories like the ultimate. Tacky Toy yeah. Hunter in the chat. What up? And, 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 his, bl and his blade and his sword blade. The what's, what's Vinny saying? I can't hear him. Um, try. He said try leaving and then entering back. Maybe you can hear him. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, this looks good. Yeah, that does. It looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know that movie gets a lot of hate, but from like a slasher perspective, I like it. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Like one of my friends uh, loves the Freddy versus It Jason movies. Yeah, this is fun. I can hear um, now. He can um, hear you. Yeah, it, it, it's a bloody miracle. Thank God. <laughs> bloody miracle. Okay, and the figure will run you about twenty seven ninety nine. No, twenty six ninety nine. Fuck, twenty seven dollars is what I meant to say. Yes. Yep. And as we were, as Jimmy and Smith were discussing before, uh, NECA will be giving us a, a, a repaint of the Alien Queen to look like how she did in Alien Resurrection. Thank you, NECA. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm a cry. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I like it. It's cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks uh, uh, pretty cool. Uh, 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 very detailed and, 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 and very... Um, it has uh, obviously brown shading because that that's how she looks kind of in, in the movie because because of all the lighting and stuff. Yeah, like this is what I was saying before. I'm cool with it because they put out so much new stuff, so I I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Like I I don't want to say too much because I have a video coming out tomorrow about it, but it's cool. I like it. Pretty sweet. No, 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 no. I've the. It'll, it'll, Gojira it'll, said, "Nah, I'll stick to the original <laughs> queen." Original queen is better. <clears throat> the, the, the figure itself will run you about one hundred and twenty dollars. So, so be sure to have your wallets ready by July of this year. But don't you want to spend that hundred and twenty dollars to get you a Bumblebee two point oh? Oh, shit. No. <laughs> no. 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 I didn't expect that. <laughs> uh, uh, I, uh, I, uh, this is a, a, a statue. This is from Unruly Industries. <laughs> it is a very exaggerated proportion uh, Black Panther. That's, uh, that's with, weird. With sneakers. Black Panther's racist. <laughs> <laughs> African American Panther, are you racist? No, what's with those sneakers going on? Why, why, why he gotta be wearing high top laces? <laughs> <laughs> why is he pose so weird? I don't know. This thing he look like he' about to go to the hole with the rock. And, races. And it's not just Black Panther. <laughs> it's not just Black Panther. Oh, ew, ew! Oh ew. my god! It's so blocky. Why is this? <laughs> yeah, yo, that's racist. Hey now, why make your feet so big? <laughs> it's so blocky and so weird. Got him looking like a straight clown. It's racist. It, it, it's like a mix of Funko and Funko. Yeah, why it cost one hundred and thirty-five dollars? It's like a mix, uh, uh, like a mix of Funko and Diamond Select. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was going for. But my God, one hundred thirty-five. How big are these things? These statues. What about? Uh, Around seven to five inches. Oh, Jesus. Hey, you know, whatever floats them boats out there. But, uh, hey, yo, that's racist. Why they don't tie their shoes? Why they walking around with untied laces? What they trying to, what they <laughs> trying to say? Don't forget the hoodie. That's racist. Know, right? yeah. uh, that is, oh, no. G g g get those shits out away from me. For, for you, uh, for your Persona Five fans, a skull is finally getting released in in, in, in the Figma line. Uh, uh, everybody's f favorite numb skull. <laughs> yeah, yo, that's racist. Uh, 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 
Oh, finally, he makes it into into the Persona Figma line. Also, as you can notice, he has du he has double joint, he has double hinged um knees in instead of a single, well, which is kind of weird. But all right, uh, uh, he, one of his accessories is not only the club but also the calling card, a mask, and also a Spider Man like hand to 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 recreate his all on attack pose. So that's the uh, pretty cool. He, he is a bit more expensive than, than the other Figmas, ranging to around seventy-three bucks. Um, but but hey, if, but hey, if you're a Persona Five fan, chances are you already pre-ordered this because uh, I I, I pre-ordered this as soon as it went up because it went up today, and, uh, and I can't wait for it to release until November twenty nineteen because it looks awesome. Hey, yo, Vinny, why are you buying that racist figure? <laughs> <laughs> Why he rocking the black face? That's uh, racist. What's it to you, Mr. Smith? <laughs> hey, yo, that's racist, son. <laughs> Why he in black face? Why that's not a white skull? Not a black skull. The, the, the Me 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 Megatron from the IDW uh, com comics will be having a model kit from Flame Toys. Just getting that. Hey, yo, that's racist. Why is he an Autobot, not a Decepticon? <laughs> this is racist. Yo, that's tight, yo. That's a uh, pretty good looking uh, Megatron right there. Yeah. Uh, Flame <clears throat> Toys uh, has always been been doing a, a good job with what their figures, and this is no exception. <laughs> It will run you about fifty dollars, and will release in July of two thousand and nineteen. Yo, that's just gonna have crazy articulation. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Uh, and, uh, and this is <coughs> this is one exa example. That's, only thing it don't do is transform. But like seriously, you, you why even why would you even want it to? It's just yeah. that badass. Yeah, I know, right. <clears throat> I'm yeah. definitely I'm def I got the IDW Prime. I'm uh, definitely gonna have to pick up this Megatron. So nice. Yeah. For uh, for you Toy Story fans, uh, uh, Ky uh, Ky uh, Kyoto will will be giving giving us a renewal for Voltec Buzz Lightyear. Uh, Ooh, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, um, it does not come with the same accessories as, as the last one, but, but it does kind of come with new, uh, new ones and some brand new features. Like for this one, it has articulated eyes. Yeah, hey, yo, that's creepy, son. I don't want him watching me. <laughs> uh, also, a crazy butterfly joint. That means he's going to try to grab me. It's not right. <laughs> Finger articulation. Uh, uh, also has Andy on, uh, on, on, on the bottom of the foot. Uh, and also what Buzz Lightyear would be Buzz Lightyear without his wings. Huh? Hey, man, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Also co comes with uh, three soldiers. Uh, yeah. uh, <coughs> it's you about $60 and releases in August of this year. They're doing a Jesse as well, right? Yeah. Yes, they are also doing Jesse. <laughs> Yo, those uh -huh. eyes look creepy. I do not want those following me, man. But they have a friend in you. Ain't not my goddamn friend. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Jesse here kind of comes with some alternate faces. Uh, again, sports some crazy articulation and obviously has articulated eyes. <laughs> Okay, that that's kind of creepy. I told you, man. He's going to come after you. Wake up in the morning. That shit's staring at you like... I don't want to be uh, your friend. I, I thought I'd put you in the box. <laughs> like, I put so, apparently, she comes with a real rope lasso. You'll find that lasso wrapped around your trachea. He's <laughs> <coughs> trying to choke you out in your sleep. Hmm. Why are you making Pixar to be but, so evil? Just... <laughs> Just, just like Buzz, she will be releasing in August of this year, and will run you about sixty bucks. So be shit, man, after, after the shit, Jay, David just said, "I ain't getting shit." <laughs> Get your wallets ready. I want to keep my trachea. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> we have PX21 Mars <laughs> from, from Planet X. Yeah, we kind of went over some of these. That's uh, oh, oh, that's shit. um, the uh, War for Cybertron. Uh, because they Planet X has actually been doing War for Cybertron uh, figures. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they continue with that line, and they came okay. out with an Iron High. They got, I think they got a Ratchet as well. But uh, uh, okay. So um, moving on. Uh, uh, for JoJo fans, uh, rejoice! Uh, not only are we getting Kakuyo and Jotaro in the Android line, we are also finally getting Dio. <laughs> Uh, uh, everybody's f f f favorite of uh, uh, a vampire in, in the series. Uh, uh, it's I, not my favorite vampire. His name's not Blade. Uh, 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 from the series, there are multiple vampires in the series. Patricia, uh, Patricia wanted you to let you know she's gonna play Devil Devil May Cry Five tonight. Okay, do your, do your thing and yeah. get the high achievements for me. Uh, Neo come, comes with some really evil faces, knives, and also comes with a punch out uh, effect, obviously representing his stand of the world. So, Mudna 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 for days. Uh, 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 also, has cross armed accessories, which is rare for, for an android, and also a signpost to, 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 to replicate the scene where he tries to top Joe Twell's head off. Um, he, he will be releasing in October of this year and will run about $53. $53. Oh, little rich, you little little pricey, little big head, motherfucker. <laughs> but, uh, we have a lot of diamond slot stuff to go over. We have Godzilla nineteen fifty four, but uh, Vinny Mate, which will run you about uh, uh, about ten bucks. Ten dollars. Uh, uh, these figures are releasing August 2019 and ha and are, are being released as the series. Not only are we getting 54, we're also getting Godzilla 1999 or Godzilla 2000 if you're American. Uh, 1999. Vinny, well, as a Godzilla guru, does it piss you off when people say Godzilla looks cute? Godzilla. Uh, I mean, not really be be because these designs were intentionally supposed to look kind of cute, so... Oh no! There goes, there goes Tokyo. Tokyo. No. No. Go go Godzilla! No, <laughs> I love that song. Um, um, Godzilla uh, from the Showa era will also be beginning uh, the the Vinny Mate tre uh, treatment. That one looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, looks pretty cool, and definitely color-wise, looks better than the SH Monster Arts. Suck it, you SH Monster Arts fanboys! Suck it, fanboys! Isn't that you? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 the Goblin from Marvel will will be getting a statue for from from Diamond Select Toys. Excuse me, I need to. Also, use Patricia back. wants you to know that there is. Godzilla King of the Monster News all over the place. <laughs> is it figures? Yeah, yeah, right. Because I know you're probably talking about one of the new trailers, but because copyright, well, I don't think we'll, we can show it. I've yeah, been hearing you know, a lot about all those TV spots, but I've been trying to avoid them. Yes, but friends toy show. We don't do trailers no more. That's what got yeah, us yeah. canceled. That's what you got us canceled. You, 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 you can blame YouTube for that, not us. That's what got 2018 Spaghetti and Friend That's canceled. Exactly. That's why this is Spaghetti and Friend's toy show. It's a different show. It's all new, all different. As a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, the Muppets Select Animal and Drum Kit is, 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 being, is being released. Again, as an exclusive <clears throat> to Big Bad Toy Store themselves. Pretty cool stuff, especially. Uh, where's Animal's drumsticks? How's he gonna have give him drums with no drumstick? What the hell? I don't know. <laughs> so much for exclusive. You can't. What? Uh, yeah. The drumsticks gonna be a fucking uh, add on. Like I got an upgrade kit for some drumsticks. I guess. <laughs> no, not only Godzilla, but Batman will, will be getting the Vinnie Mae treatment. And first is the Batman who laughs. <laughs> You know, it freaks me out. I know. 
Next up, we also have uh, uh, the White Knight Batman. White Knight. And we have the Damned uh, Vinnie Mate Batman. Uh, uh, also, for also for you Westworld fans, the first uh, set of, uh, 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 of, of figures has just went up for uh, for pre-order. So, if you want yourself a kind of looks like he just had a stroke, Anthony Hopkins. That's Hannibal. Now you now now you're in luck. Pretty much. Uh -huh. So I I hope you you, you have your pre-orders ready because these look uh, pretty cool. Although that's, I'm not a Rush World fan myself, hey, you, you must be. And you must be very face, happy. That's the face of a man who had to do Transformers 5. That's what that is. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. Uh, uh, BB-8 will we'll, we'll, we'll be, be having a, a, sta a statue from Diamond Select for $140. <laughs> so, does it yeah. Does it bleep blop and can hack into internets for me for that much? No. Fuck you, Dan. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Fuck you, Dan. I'm not paying that much for, for damn BB-8. <laughs> I'm uh, it out, man. There's so many of them. Yeah. Uh, also, for you uh, Sonic the Hedgehog fans, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog bank of Diamond Select toys, just in so, case you, you want to score some points. So if you want to throw away money like Sega's throwing away money, here's your chance. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, know, you, you want to be like Sega? Well, here, you can buy the Sonic the Hedgehog Bank for only twenty one ninety nine. In fact, if you fill up this Sonic Bank, you probably have enough money to buy Sega. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, on the brighter side, we will also be, be, be getting some statues uh, uh, with, um, uh, with, with some uh, Green Hill Zone playsets. Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be included with Dr. Robotnik, Tails, Amy Rose, and Sonic the Hedgehog, obviously. And uh, it, will, it will run you just only thirty-three dollars, uh, and releases in August of this year. The the next uh, figure uh, is a uh, raised statue from the Force Awakens, uh, and will run you around one hundred and eighty-five dollars. And I say, fuck that. <laughs> what what is that crap on her head? Why does she look apparently, like Laura Croft from Tomb Raider? No, like, look, like if you look at the head, like it's like she's got like worms on the top of her noggin, and like that's, that's just a bad, bad that's, face sculpt. That's apparently supposed to be her hair, but uh, yeah, mm. you got a case of them worms. Look uh, for one hundred eighty-four something dollars, man. I mean, come on now, that don't even look like her. No, it does not. So. Easy pass. Uh, sorry to say, uh, the predator for, from Gallery Jungle will uh, will will have a, a diamond slide statue. Hmm. Yeah, hello. Uh, so, in case you you love predator and love statues, you are you are probably excited for this. Actually, unless I'm mistaken, it looks like he has our articulation. I can't tell. Articulation. Uh, how much? Oh, forty-five. I mean, hmm. That's one of those things where I really got to see it in person because Diamond Select's hit or miss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, uh, Jack from The Nightmare Before Christmas so will we'll, we'll, we'll be having a, uh, having a little uh, coffin ball. <coughs> so, so, so I think there is our articulation in a and the, Yeah, Christmas Jack with Chair Deluxe coffin ball. So... Yeah, uh, I, I do believe he has some possible ability. Ed will run you around sixty bucks. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, Don Wick will be having a statue for Diamond Select that will run you around forty bucks. Uh, like that face is a little po little Keanu look a little puffy in that one right there. Look at that. Like yeah, he, yeah, like, he took a couple shots to the to the to the, to the grill. That does not look like John Wick to me. It's John Thick, kid. Isn't that? Looking a little beefy. I know, right? <laughs> uh, and finally, uh, Bruce Lee 
uh, Bruce Lee's Oof. first figure from Diamond Select will have uh, mm. uh, his first uh, action figure, and yes, it is art articulated. Mm, I think there's one out there that's better than this. This is sad. The, 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 the Jesse figure art is better. This Bruce Lee is not. No way. Yeah. This shit is, like that. That like if you go back to that first face, like that's not even close. No, no, that's, no. That's, not. That's Bruce Lee's stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? They gave us the fucking action figure of Bruce Lee's stunt double. That's not. Which, which is weird. Uh, that is not even close to Bruce Lee, bro. No, it is not. <laughs> that is his motherfucker. That is high paying his stunt double, son. Stop playing. For real. It's uh, uh, from Pink Panther. His name, high, his name is High Ping. He can't he take all out really, really. Even though Bruce Lee's a boss and he do his own thing every now and then, like, you know, Bruce got to take it easy. You say, like, yo, call High Ping. High Ping, come up in here. Take this ass whooping real quick. Look at this. They made an action figure, High Ping. That's messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, if you want, you want high paying twenty seven ninety nine, get you a high paying. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. All right. So as far as I know, that is it for big news. But I do want to let everybody know, Misco is shipping out the Silverman Onyx oh, versions oh, of Batman. Batman. So be sure to have your doors ready for that because that will require a signature upon delivery. Also, Patricia wanted to know if you guys knew about. The Disney Fox deal over this week. I'll be yes. right back. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, the, the deal uh, reportedly completed uh, two days ago. Right. So, I mean, it's probably gonna get some like some X Men soon. Uh, 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 I hope so. Because hey, everybody, everybody's been dying for for X Men and Deadpool and Fantastic Four action in in MCU. Yes, yes, yes. All right, well, was that it for Fig News there, Vinny? Yes, that is it for Fig News. All right, then. Well, let's uh, let's get down to this uh, top 10. As always, as voted on by you, our uh, sanctuary brothers and sisters who come to our Facebook group. And if you're not a member, I don't know why you're not. You should be. It's a great place. Definitely come check it out. Oh, and uh, by the way, why sure. y'all why, why here? Yeah, why don't y'all smash that like on this live stream? Yeah, please do. It'll it'll make us very happy, and it'll also uh, help uh, help help the the channel the channel out. Also, it it, it it's good for the rabbits. Yes, very good for for the rabbits. For all, for all the wildlife creatures. Uh, please smash that like button. The little critters in nature. They don't know uh, that they're ugly. Hey now. Uh, hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. <laughs> that hurts, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but, 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 sorry, but, but I saw the opportunity. I could have wasted it. I've never been hurt that deep before. Yeah, that, that was rough, Vinny. That was rough. Okay, uh, let's let's start this top ten. Now, the top ten we had this week was uh, I decided let's let's do best weapons. Now, uh, my criteria for this was weapons that you could wield. Now, we got a couple write-ins, and I had to sit there and think about them. Like, uh, is this considered? And yes, I tried to avoid a lot of overpowered weapons. More of the melee type, even though they some might have powers. But like I said, a couple of the write-ins are like, yeah, it's a little bit of power, but other people can wield it. So I'm like, okay, I'll allow it. So that's how they stayed in. But um, we like I said, we had a couple of write-ins. Uh, 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 st uh, start with me. I will be right back. All right. And we have at number 13, we have the Trident, or Aquaman's Trident, to be precise. And a decent weapon, you know, very capable in Aquaman's hands. 
it's definitely something to wield some power to it, control the seas and all that other good shit. But unfortunately enough, you know, no one gave a damn about the trident. So <laughs> stuck at the bottom of the, just like I'm being at the bottom of the seas, the bottom of this list. So peace, dragon. Next we have at twelve, the Ebony Blade. That's wielded by the Black Knight. Uh, it's a store. Uh, it's a sort of mythological use and just of great power, but again, not that powerful enough to get the votes. So, see you, Ebony Blade. <laughs> All right, coming in at who we at uh, eleven? We have Nightwings, bow staffs, or whatever it's called, uh, some sticks. They're, Goddamn sticks. They sticks. Put them together, you make one big stick. It's a stick. But used in the proper hands of a trained professional, they could be deadly weapons. Thus, Nightwing uses these as his form of combat. But they were not good enough to even crack the top ten. So... Get on out of here with sticks. Bike them sticks. And coming in at number 10, a write in from Matt Jacobson. What's going on, Matt Jacobson? And he added in the Silver Surfers board. Now, this is like I said, this is one I had to think about because I'm like, is it a weapon? It does possess the power of cosmic in it. And if you are somewhat wielding the board, then you would somewhat wield the power. So, you know, it's... Or you can just pick it up and smack the shit out of somebody with it, too. So, you know, you got that option. But nevertheless, no one was ready to ride the wave. And it only stayed at number 10. Coming in at number 9, another write-in from... Matt Jacobson, and that is the God Killer. Now, honestly, truthfully, I don't know much knowledge about the God Killer, but just off the name, I'm going to assume this sword is pretty badass. In fact, wasn't this the sword they was using in the Wonder Woman movie? That's what I was just oh, thinking, yeah. But it was like a sword so powerful it could kill the gods. So I'm, I'm going to assume that these are uh, these are the same swords. So, I mean, hey. But, you know, nobody want to kill the gods so you don't get to go no higher. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. At number eight, we have Captain America Shield. Um, I'm surprised it didn't get any higher. It is a very versatile weapon. Well, at least it is for the Cap himself. It is uh, use of defense, but can be also used as an assault. Deadly projectiles made out of a mixture of. Don't let them fool you too, because they're rewriting that history. It's a compound mixture of vibranium and adamantium. That's what made it indestructible because it was a mixture of both. It wasn't just one. There's some adamantium, there's a little vibranium, give you the shield. But again, good weapon, not good enough. Just not cutting a cap. All right, next on the list, we have the Good Samaritan, Hellboy. Uh, I, I put this on this list because I thought it was a pretty badass gun. It looked like it could put a hole in the motherfucker. Plus, he's got like custom ammo for certain occasions. So that's that that adds a little fun factor to this weapon. So you know, plus you know you can get tracker bullets, which that was pretty cool. Yeah. So can't go wrong with that. But again, not good enough. Still pays to be a good Samaritan, though. All right, next we have 
Bow and arrow. Now, I said on this one, I said green arrow <clears throat> or Hawkeye, because technically it's it's like apples and oranges. Well, not even apples and oranges. It's like shit. It's a red apple versus a green apple. Either way, you get an apple. So, you know, doesn't really matter. They both got trick arrows. They're both killer archers. And I mean, hey, it's a pretty cool weapon. It's very versatile if you if you're proficient in using it. So, uh, not so, not not a bad weapon you'd want to have. So, there you go. Plus, if you got one of the, if you got their their satchel and their quiver, uh, you know they're gonna be some arrows with a big fucking boxing glove on it. You know what I'm saying? So, knock someone out with that shit. But again. Not that good enough. Right, where we at? Okay, we're all right. We're coming into the top five, and we have the Batarang. Now there are very different variations of the Batarang, so you can kind of this encompasses all. That's what kind of made me put it on the list. I just chose this design because it just looked pretty cool. But the Batarang has always been probably, if not the go-to weapon for Batman. I mean, how many times have we seen Batman throw a Batarang down the barrel of someone's gun and then it explodes in the hand and, you know, disarm, you know, thieves with the Batarang and knock them out? It's his go-to weapon. So how could it not be on this list? Plus, it's very portable, easy to conceal, carry multiple ones if need be. So it's definitely a versatile weapon to have in any superhero's, you know, accessories and their utility belt. But again, it wasn't that good enough. Coming in at number four, we have the original Stormbreaker. We're talking Beta Ray Bill here. I mean, it's, uh, I know we got the Infinity one, and it's okay, but I prefer this Stormbreaker than that one. Yeah, like this, this, this hammer is right up there with Milnir. You know, this hammer was forged by Odin and the same people who created Mjolnir because Beta Ray Bill was such a badass that they said, you got to get your own hammer, son, because you's out here beasting with the Mjolnir and that goes to Thor. So here's your hammer. You, it, it's all, it, I would say it's pretty much equal to the power and abilities of Mjolnir. So it's, it's right up there. So yeah, Stormbreaker. Not good enough, but still a decent weapon. And coming in at number three, Vampire Bat themselves, Lucille. I mean, this is as bare bones as you could possibly get. Baseball bat wrapped with barbed wire. Wouldn't think it could do that much, but uh, I mean... If Walking Dead has shown us anything, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can, you can get a lot of shit done with a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire. Yeah, we're, we're not talking the TV show. We're talking, like, Lucille from the comics. Cause... Well, comics, TV, hell, real life. You you crack a motherfucker over the skull with a bat. They're going to they talk funny, too. That shit killed a lot of things in the comics. <laughs> But like I said, what 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 can you really say? It's 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 one of those you no, know, it's 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 almost a kind of a no gimmicks needed type weapon. It's you know, it, it's only as good as the person wielding it. So if you you got the strength and the speed and the power, uh, uh, a bat wrapped in barbed wire will probably do some serious damage. Like one shot, one one shot, one kill type damage. So, yeah, but again, uh, always a bridesmaid, never a bride for Lucille, so. And coming in at number two, again, this was by Matt Jacobson. 
uh, the Green Lantern ring. And I thought about it at first. I'm like, is this a weapon? Yes, it does have magical powers and builds constructs, but it can be wielded by other people. It is not exclusive to just one person. We might associate it with certain people, but it can be wielded by many others. So I just said, fuck it. I'll allow it. What can you say? The Green Lantern ring, it's one of the powerful rings in the color spectrum. There are other colors out there. It, it provides strength, durability. You, you build constructs based off of your your ability to have an imagination. So if you, you think crap, you get crap. But if you have some creativity, you can build amazing constructs to use as defense or offense. So it's a pretty decent weapon, but not the best weapon. And the number one weapon as voted on as you, the fans, Mjolnir. What can I say? It's it's the hammer of hammers. He who can possess this hammer shall be possessed the powers of Thor. Uh, look here, it's it's Mjolnir. What can you say? Yeah. Even though it broke, it is still highly regarded as one of those type of weapons. And hopefully, with M game, it'll, it'll make a comeback. But uh, yeah, what can you say? It's it's pretty much um well at at that point in time was indestructible and pretty much the most powerful weapon in the Marvel universe. And I mean, hey, even without the power itself, it's still a goddamn hammer. So I'm pretty sure you hit someone with a hammer is regardless of it's touched by the gods, you, you definitely going to feel something. So still not a bad weapon to have. And you guys voted it as your numero uno. And that is the top 10 for the sanctuary page as voted on by you. Our sanctuary members. Uh, do you guys have your top fives? Uh, yeah, I can go first. All right, go for it, bro. All right, so um, my number five is going to be probably Captain America's shield. I know it's kind of generic, but it's, it's, I don't know. I always liked it. I don't know. It's cool. Vibranium, adamantium, not this new thing where they can't mention adamantium, but... I always really liked it. So, and <laughs> Mr. V said, "You can't crack no superhero wit that weak bet, yo." <laughs> you crack his knees, though. Crack those. Um, knees. My number four, and I didn't even think of this until I saw that right in. Um, but the Silver Surfer Shield, kind of a weapon, kind of not, but. I don't know. I always liked Silver Surfer, and I don't know. I always liked the shield. Not the shield. The uh, the board. Sorry. Silver Surfer board. Um, that's pretty cool. There you go. Uh, my number three would be uh, the Batarang. It's a Batarang. I mean, there's only so much you could say about that. It's fucking Batman. So mm -hmm. the Batarang is Batarang. That's that. Uh, my number two would be Lucille. It's not a very strong weapon, as Mr. V said. It can't do shit to anyone, any that's superhero. What, that's what you think you get your melon split. Yeah. But uh you start talking you start you start talking funny like the spaghetti. Mm. Go, go, go to issue one hundred walking dead, you'll fucking cry your eyes out. But <laughs> um yeah so Lucille. I love her. She's my gal. Mm -hmm. My sunshine. But my number one is probably Mjolnir. Yeah. I, I liked, uh, I always liked Thor from the comics. And I always liked Mjolnir, Stormbreaker, Mjolnir, but um, Mjolnir, the hammer of hammers. So my number one is that. And like you said, I really hope they bring it back in Endgame. I don't know how they could, uh, except like time travel, I guess, in a sense. But I really hope they do. That's that. 
<laughs> B said, nah, that board ain't no weapon. That's oh, a nuclear God. weapon, but ain't nothing with the Silver Surfer. I mean, that's true. I ain't no hero, bro, so I ain't no bat touching me. <laughs> ain't no bat touching me. <laughs> split, your, split your wig, chief. Open you up like a can of corn. <laughs> I yo, uh, I'm putting my top five. My top five, no particular order. Um, I'm definitely going with Milner for the hammer. Maybe a little bit of the lightning. Uh, I'm doing. It's a. It's. I don't even. I call it a one piece, and I was gonna put it on the list, but I count it as a one piece because he's versatile with both of them, and he's kind of synonymous with them. I'm going with Deadpool, Katanas, and Guns. Because why not have Katanas and Guns? You know, you get some close combat. You get some some distance, a little melee, a little bit of both. You know, if it's getting wild like that in the streets. So you had that combo of Katanas with some some guns. Can't lose. (laughs) Uh, number three, uh, I'm definitely going to have to do with the the bow and arrow. I know it's a little sounds a little weak, but if, like I said, in, in the hands of, of a surgeon, you, you can do some good things with them with them bow and arrows, boy. If you, if you know how to work it properly, psh, you, 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 you just as deadly as a sniper. So... And even more quieter, he's hit him, done, sleep. Yeah. <sighs> All right, what was that? Number three? All right, number two. Uh, I figured, like, you know, since I'm kind of building the all-purpose, like, zombie neutralizing kit, got to go with the cap shield just to protect myself, like, you know, if I just wear it on my back, they try to jump me from behind. The shields kind of got me, protect the neck. And then, you know, I just hit him with the meal near, you know, pull out the katana to let the gun clap, you know, stay safe out there. I am a number one pick. You know what? I have to fuck with some batarangs because, you know, Hit a motherfucker from a distance with a battering, a couple light switches, maybe take down that chandelier. You know, it's very versatile. You got the, it's the flick of the wrist, you know, flick of the wrist. You hit it, boom. You know, you got zombies coming after you, and there's that chandelier right over their head. You hit that battering because you got the log stuck on your foot. Just saved your life right there. Just saved your life. So, boom, battering. <laughs> That's my five. Uh, Vinny, you got it? Yeah, I do. Cool. Okay. Um, no, no, no particular order. Uh, number five, it, it, it goes to the Batarang pretty much for all the reasons that uh, Smith and uh, Jimmy stated. It's a classic and iconic weapon that Batman uses pretty much all, all the time. There's not much more that I can say, so that's that. Uh, number four goes to Captain America Shield because um, it, it's it's one of my favorite uh, weapons used by used by a, uh, a Marvel ca- character. One of my favorite Marvel weapons. Um, what caught my eye when I first saw it as a kid was that de- definitely the uh, the the design of it. I just thought it was a really cool and, and, and it's a definitely classic. Um, uh, and uh, that's a, a cool weapon. Uh, number number three. Uh, go. Um, uh, number three go, uh, goes to uh, Stormbreaker. Uh, 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 that is pretty much the equal to Thor's hammer for for all the uh, the 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 right and the right and good reasons. And the anyway, bill is for pretty much the full Thor's uh, equal, and rightfully so. With Stormbreaker, it is just as powerful, if not more powerful than uh, than uh, than uh, than Mjolnir. So. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the reasons I got to state. Uh, number two, go, uh, 
Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Uh, n- 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 number two go- 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 goes to Deadpool's uh, Akitanas. Uh, one, I, I really love l- 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 the design of the k- Katanas. And two, Deadpool just ha- hacks and slashes and does not look up <laughs> at, uh, at all. He, 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 he's a badass and pretty much un- almost un- unbeatable with those Katanas. So, yeah, th- that's that. And for and for number one, Thor's hammer. What can I say? Uh, 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 that weapon is a classic in almost that heavy way. It, it's pretty much uh, uh, unbeatable, almost unbeatable because you know Hela destroyed it in a Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> and uh, but 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 hey, it still counts. Uh, it still counts as Thor's hammer, and it's still one, one of the ultimate we- weapons in the Marvel Universe. And uh, that's it. Um, All right, quick. Uh, I gotta answer Mr. V's question. Mr. V is saying that uh, I wouldn't need the battle rings if I got the bow and arrow. Now, nah, Mr. V, the bow and arrow is for long range kills. The battle ring is for short range little object type mentality. It's battle ring is not going to give you that distance. You you. You probably can hit a dude with a battering for about a hundred feet, but with that bow and arrow, I hit a motherfucker from a thousand. See what I'm saying? So, like I said, battering's for that. Oh, gotta hit the switch. <laughs> Bam. Gotta hit that rope. <laughs> Bam. But motherfucker running, hit him with the bow. <laughs> Catch him right in the back of the neck, crack his spine from his fucking forehead. And done. Straight through the neck. That's why you get the bow and arrow. Plus, also in the zombie outbreak, bow and arrow is good because you can always retrieve your ammo. So you save ammo. You know, hit them in the face, psh, take your arrow back. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So in case you run out of bullets, bam, that's what the arrow is for. But arrows, long range, battering, short range. I like the The town is also for short range, gun, clap, long range. Like I said, there's a method to the madness. Even you can even go as far as the shield. The shield is not only for defense but offense. You know what I mean? But catch them in the close, them close quarters. You know how Cap like to throw the shield and it bounce off the wall and clap a man in the face. Same thing. Hit him, bam, boy, bam. Crack a crack a zombie skull. Keep it moving. Kick the shield back. Keep it moving. Push us back. Hit him. Clap, clap, clap. Trust me, kid. They're not going down. <laughs> Not going down. You want to live? Come, come with, come with your boy. <clears throat> I kind of want to change my number one to the lawgiver. I completely forgot about that one. So you get a good Samaritan too. Still don't need the battle ring. I'm telling you, the battle ring is gonna be that little jam because don't forget too, Mister V. Say you in a stuffle and you you and some dude is rolling around the ground fighting for survival, and you just take that little battle ring out your at your sheath and catch him with the one right to the side of the to the jugular fight over, bro. Batarang just saved your life. Batarang, trust me. You want you want them little pocket little knives on toe. You never know. You never know. Somebody tie you up and you gotta pull out your sheath. Batarang, cut that rope. Done. Out. Time to slay. And then while they sleeping. And you cut that rope, that's when you throw the battering. <laughs> Bam, back of the head, take them down. It's on the pop and get your weapons back, slay them, keep it moving. See, battering, save your life. Remember that. All right, Gajiro, his top five is Millionaire, God Killer, Green Lantern Ring, uh, the Ebony Blade, and the Silver Surfer Board. Okay, not bad. What's the name of the gun that RoboCop always uses? I didn't even know RoboCop's gun had a name. I thought it did. I'm trying to remember. Chad, does RoboCop's gun have the name? Yeah, I think it's like a series of numbers, but... Uh... That ring come... And all flavors then explode. Yeah, exactly. See, like I said, the, the battle ring has different capabilities depending on how you set up your your battering supply. 
You don't want some with explosive. You don't want some with sonic. Some of them that might just have a sedative when they hit a motherfucker. You want some that might be so sharp they don't cut right through your right through your jugular. You know, always be versatile. Robocop's gun is called the Auto Nine. There we go. Thank you, Gojira. I didn't even know it had a name. I really didn't know it had a name. That is a bad motherfucking gun, though. Yeah. We talking old school Robocop Peter Weller, not the, not the new shit. Nah, old school. <clears throat> all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, okay, uh, now it's about that time. Um, we got any spotlights? Uh, what was the discussion we was going to talk about this week? Do you remember? Um, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I'm blanking, but I can do sanctuary highlights meanwhile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the, do the highlights and I'll think of something real quick. Gotta get some of that elevator music, man. Come on now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got some. We got some good highlights. So I think. There we go. There. Present to everyone. Okay. Um, let's start with this. A little something, something from our man, Mister V. Here. Looks like he was working on a little project earlier. You got a little, uh, little thing that says sanctuary right there. And Mr. V right here. That's pretty cool. Yes, it is. Wow. The one in the background, not them gay formers. So nah, he watched he watches the Transformers for men. Transformers for men. But it looks like yeah. Mr. V also hit five hundred subs. So yeah, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty cool. To another Remember five. Mr. V. Don't do reviews. He do toy hunts, games. I, I like this. I like this here. March is buy your husband new Transformers month. I support that. Yeah, yeah. I think we all do. <clears throat> so that, that's, that's no gay formers. That's right, Mister V. No gay formers. No gay <laughs> formers. I'm Mister no. Finney here. Looks like you got that Thor. Uh, yep, we got I got that. See, I think you are some four action uh, going on. They don't have that forehead syndrome. Do it? Uh, be, uh, you mean our big head syndrome? No. Yeah, no. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're good, man. We. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are good. We are good to go. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, ooh, what's this? Looks like our man Dan reborn. Over there on the other side of the planet, updating us on what's good. NG Chris, what's good in the chat? What's up? Got a lot of Zoids here. <coughs> so that's pretty cool. Zoids, yeah. Some places Zoids are still popping out there in the streets. Yeah. Thank you, Zoid. Dan Reborn. Ooh, Mr. A. B. Sanders. Looks like he bought that humongous, humongous black series vehicle. Yeah, like he got he got the whole place set set up though. That's pretty cool. So, and it looks like he made the uh, yeah. It looks like this is made um, something he did. So that's pretty cool looking. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, what's this? Mr. V posting. Oh, it's more of those little mini upgrades for the for the siege. We got some chocolate upgrade here. Doing yeah, it for the siege. Siege. All right. Um, what else we got? What's this? What what what, what, what do we got here? Hmm. United States champion. That's the IWGP. United States champion from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Apparently, I guess someone in our group makes 
get uh, belts. So I guess he was promoting his uh, thing. Oh, it's pretty cool. Did a good job. It, it looks okay. I mean, need a, need a closer look, but it, it looks, it's depending on what it, what he's asking for for prices, though. That's the real question. Yeah. What's the quality of the leather? How many um, millimeters is that plate? They also got a got a fella up in here missing them Bruce Lee feet. So if anybody can help him out, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you end up with no feet though? That's the real question. I can't tell if they're broken, but it looks like they're just on ball joints though. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like how'd you how'd you end up with a Bruce Lee with no feet? I don't know, maybe he found like some kind of swap meet flea market. He's like, oh, I'll take this Bruce Lee with no feet. Why not? Buying those pinyin, buy those pinyin fingers. I'm buying them Bruce Lee stunt double fingers. <laughs> <laughs> get no feet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what come is this the SH one though? He copied them pinyins, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yes, H. Oh, oh damn! All right, you got oh, some. No, look like look like the stunt double to me. Oh man. Yeah, you might want to invest in some of those NECA stands there, buddy, at Target. But, uh, yeah, uh, that should do it for highlights. Uh, those are the big ones. All right. Shit, I got some uh, some new figures I just picked up. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Just got uh, my... Mastermind Creations, reformatted Insecticons. See, that that was one thing I was hoping from TFCon is Fans Toys revealing a reissue of theirs. But uh, man, I don't know if Fans Toys will ever reissue those, man. They're just like literally holy grail. These aren't bad, but see, there was something about them that was like bothering me. And it was like the way they look. But it was like the way they look is familiar. And then it hit me. They're reformatted from the G1 figures. Cause I'm like, why does Shrapnel have yellow legs? If you go to the G1 figure, it had yellow legs. And then it's like, why are their legs like this metal? Yeah. That's because the G1 had the metal legs. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't know if they did that on purpose or was it kind of like a happy accident, but I think they were trying to like up update the original G1 figures because these don't look cartoon accurate. They're good, but I mean, like, I mean, they're solid. There's some metal in them. There's a little bit of die cast, so there's a, there's a little bit of weight. They're pretty decent figures. Yeah, they look good. Uh, I would prefer the fans to it, but they, they like I said, uh, with all the stuff they got coming down the line, I, I'd be surprised if they reissued that. Plus, uh, I think I got my, I still haven't taken them out the box, but I got my foot soldiers. Got my, my little crank. And I got... The Shredder. No, I haven't taken the turtles out the box because uh, at this point, seen one turtle, we've seen them all. <laughs> I wanted to see how the other figures looked, and they're fucking pretty sweet. Definitely, I think the price was a little much, but granted, you're getting two figures in one, so it's you know twenty five dollars a figure. So I guess it makes sense. <laughs> You Although the like I said, the only the only part about it I, I dislike the most is the whole exclusivity where you gotta be like hunting down targets just to find them. Like, you know, I, I I'm done with that. But it is what it is. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, some decent pickups. Like I said, I mean, and they're, they're decent scale. They go scale, they scale well with the masterpiece figures. So, like I said, they're they're not they're not the they're not the best Insecticons, but they're definitely not the worst. So, uh, the Legends Infamous Iron Man is up for a pre order here, but I'm a classic Doctor Doom. Yeah, I really want a classic Doctor Doom too. 
Like, I, I like Infamous Iron Man. The design is cool, but eh. really want real Doctor Doom already. Yes, I, I don't know what Marvel Legends is waiting for when it comes to Doctor Doom. Like, what, what's the holdup on that? Maybe like, they're just wanting people to buy up this one because it's the closest thing you can get. <laughs> I don't know, but it's like, come on already with the Doctor Doom. You gave us the Fantastic Four, so what's up? What's up with that Doom love? <laughs> Well, at least reissue some kind of Galactus or something. Man, my Walgreens, I finally went there and because it's been a long time. Fools haven't restocked in like a year. All the same shit. <laughs> uh, no, nah, Mr. V, those ain't legend size. Those are they're more masterpiece scale. So like the Insecticons are supposed to be smaller than the other Decepticons. So they're like at the perfect height. I mean, they, they look, looking on camera, yeah, they do look small, but they're, they're about six inch, give or take. But they're, they're like I said, they're perfect masterpiece size because the fans toys, the ones that are the exact same height. So they're, they're in scale with masterpiece. See, with Transformers, you got to check the bow, the Bowen scale. There's a scale that will show you every height of every Transformers so that when you collect the masterpiece, that's the scale that you go by. So, yeah. Insecticons fit that bill. <laughs> Even though Takara's too good to make combiners. Bunch of fools. I seriously don't know what they're doing over there. I don't know, man. They, uh, the rumor is Hasbro might just snatch them up completely. Like buy them? Yeah. That's the, that's, that's the word I'm hearing on the street that uh, Hasbro might. It's not a confirmed thing, but the way the way car is going at this point, they might... I mean, that's a good they, they might they might just take especially because they've been doing a more business now especially with the with the transformer stuff mm -hmm. they they might just take them on and just let Hasbro just just have it and do what they do with it I mean I doubt we'll get any original IP but you never know yeah so but like I said this ain't nothing this ain't set in stone, though. Well, if it, the if name it of the Transformer line with the legends in it, Mister V, it <clears throat> it's not really a line. It's just any wave. Like if say you buy <clears throat> the Siege line, the smaller figures would be considered legend. Like the about three inch, three and a half. That's kind of the legend scale because it's legends, then it's deluxe, then it's leader class. Uh, I think it's Voyager. Which one is, is it Voyager then leader? Because they, they switch it all the goddamn time. Yeah, it's Voyager then leader. Yeah, so there's like Voyager leader. Oh, the ones I got are the third party. The other ones that are legend that they got out is a third party company called Iron Factory. They they make a lot of legend transformers, pretty good stuff. There's a couple out there, um, New Age. So you just gotta kind of look around. But there's, there's 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 some companies coming out right now that's doing a lot of smaller size, real good quality transformers. Okay, so it's time for discussion. Uh, were we about to talk about like Endgame or something like that? Um, yeah, I mean, we're how many weeks are we out from Endgame? We're pretty close, right? It's what yeah. April, what? Uh, let me go check April 20 something, 27th, I think. Let me see. Uh, that's a couple weeks, yeah, yeah. Uh, April 26th, so that's like a little bit over a month, so we're like right there basically. 
So weren't we going to talk about uh, what what we want to see from a, like a cosmic phase besides Fantastic Four and X-Men? Um, yeah, I, just, I would definitely like, I mean, they've established that it's there. They've established the Eternals, which I hear that they're talking about making a movie about the... Um, with Millie the, Bobby Brown. With the Eternals and all that. Word. Don't forget to smash the like on that stream. Always smash that like. <laughs> but um, uh, I would think like like definitely like touch into like after this is all said and done, I would like to see like DC, not Marvel, just really venture out and like I said, even though you can still have it all in the same continuity. Like do other stories. Like I want to see a movie about the Savage Lands, you know, where there's a spot on Earth where dinosaurs still kind of inhabit it. Like do a Jurassic Park, but good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So where you can bring up other characters and it's just like it's still self-contained, but it's still contained in that same universe. Like really dip into the pool, go cosmic with it with eternity like let's get a good good like i would like to see a galactus before really doing a fantastic four like have a setup for galactus and then bring them to earth and then you can like do the whole fantastic four type shit yeah you know really like hopefully with the whole situation with guardians maybe they could touch on that a little bit more which by the way speaking of which the whole James Gunn is back. Now, has, did you know they, they apparently like they said Disney never fired him to begin with? What? Apparently Disney. I never heard that. Yeah, that's the, that's the word on the street. Is apparently like Disney technically they they fired him on paper, but never really fired him because even when they got rid of him. They never looked for a replacement technically for Guardians Three. They just <laughs> did. They just did all that to kind of save face because everybody was all butthurt about his ten-year-old tweets. So, so they so they appeased they appeased the, the the small fringe mob, and then when it died down and other things went around happening more scandalous, now they just poof. He's back on. He's 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 back. Which is kind of, uh, 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 that, that was kind of uh, not necessary on uh, on the on uh, on Disney's part because all that did was just add more fuel to uh, to to the fire uh, that already started before his uh, his supposed firing. So no, but see, here's the thing because of. How news cycles work nowadays. People have already kind of forgot about it and moved past it because so many other dumb shit has happened since then that it's 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 old news now. That's why you can bring them back now, and no one's no one. You know, a couple months ago, yeah, everybody was in an uproar. Yeah, no one said nothing when they said he brought them back. No one said nothing. Why? Because it really wasn't that important in the first place. Yeah. Like, who gives a shit about what you said 10 years ago? Okay, so he said some edgy things. Okay. Like, it is what it is. Like, you, like anyone here, you can't sit there and act like you didn't say something stupid 10 years ago. Does that, does that reflect who you are today? No. no. So, you know, it's that thing, like, like I said, people just needed a reason to be outraged. So... Disney did what they thought do best. Let's let's call the mob, give them give them their blood. They gave them blood. They 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 feast. They moved on to the next thing, and now time is passing. Like I said, there was no formalities. No, oh, we got to do this and negotiate. None. He just he back. He just back because he was never gone in the first place. He was never gone. <laughs> they just. They, it was one of those, like, you know, you're fired, but you're not fired. You're just fired for their sake. But with time, when it, when, like I said, when time passes and, and they move on to the next shit, 
we'll just throw you back in and pretend like nothing ever happened. So, yeah, that's how James Gunn is now back doing Guardians 3. Because think about it. If they were really trying to get someone new, they, they'd have been announced somebody for Guardians 3. They never even talked about it. Like, that was something that was never a, a subject of issue. Like, when they got rid of him, no one was really like, okay, who are they going to replace him? Who are they going to replace him? The only people who speculated was other news outlets. But Disney wasn't saying nothing about who they're going to get to replace him because they had nobody to replace him. They was always going to use gun. Why would they get rid of someone who's giving you gold? If I'm spending you gold, why are you going to fuck with the dude who gives you fucking cotton? No, you're going to stick with the gold. Don't give a shit what he said. He's, is he still spending gold? Then that's my guy. So, yeah, that's, like I said, they, they're dumb. Very much. <clears throat> I would like to see a Ghost Rider, too. Yes, Ghost Rider would be good. That would be something I would like for them to kind of dip into. Like, give us, give us a, like, okay, give us a Ghost Rider that's not hokey. Like, Ghost Rider could have been good in the past, but you pick Nick Cage, and at this point in his career, he's hokey. It's almost like he 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 knows he's a meme. <laughs> he just he just does shit because he knows it's memeable. So it's it's not even worth it. Like he's yeah. out there, he's out there right now making movies he knows going straight to DVD. Like he don't give a fuck. He know he a meme. You know, so he can, he'll he'll now just make fucking ridiculous ass movies with bad hair pieces. <laughs> it's true. Poor Nick Cage. I know he used to be something. Oh look at it. Shit happens. But yeah, I would like to see Ghost Rider. I'd like to see a moon knight. I would like to see, you know what I like to see? I want to see a movie. But it'll be kind of entwined with a little bit of time manipulation. I want to see a movie about damage control. Like, I want to see the movie about the guys who come to clean up the mess after the shit happens. That could be interesting. Yes, I want to see their trials and tribulations, especially when you're trying to clean up a mess and then a new mess happens. Like, what do you do? Like they got the they got their own crew. This Marvel it's called Damage Control. I want to see a movie about damage control. I want to see the guys who come to clean up the mess after the Avengers and the X Men and the Fantastic Four and all those cats fuck New York City up. Come here, we gotta clean it up. And next thing you know, oh shit, here comes Spider Man with the fucking rhino tramping through the city. Like, I ain't still picking up this building and shit. Like, that's the last thing I need right now. One of the foremen just got crushed by the juggernaut. And now here come the rhino stomping and romping through the city. That's, that's all I need. Uh, Blade versus Morbius would also be a good movie, which I've heard they, they, they've they been talking about that, trying to get Morbius. In the, in the MCU, or at least in the movies, in period. Uh, definitely Blade. Um, I would like, I think I said this last week, like I said, I would like to see the Netflix people get a, a movie treatment. Um, Quasar, also a good character. I want to see, like, yeah, like I said, there's so much you can do. You can even do, like, if you wanted to do, like, a comedy hokey type superhero movie you could do like the west coast avengers like get the so so bottom of the fucking barrel that you probably don't even know their actual characters and all you got to do is throw in one one known name go like hawkeye go get jeremy renner i bet you he'd do it too yeah get jeremy renner because hawkeye was the leader of the west coast avengers so throw his ass in there and give him the fucking bottom of the barrel heroes. I'm talking the mystery men of fucking Marvel. Like, just the straight, like, fucking the flat guy. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, characters who you, you like, when you find out they're dead, you're like, who? Like, exactly. 
like just nobodies. Like they're 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 heroes of a forgotten time when Stan Lee was too coked up and came up with some ideas that really didn't fly, <laughs> but yet they still somehow stay managed to be canon and still exist at some point. But nobody gives a shit about them. Make that movie. And you can you can experiment with that. Make it a comedy, all that shit, because you, you really shouldn't be taking the West Coast Avengers seriously anyway. So yeah, do do that shit. That would be like a good fucking movie in the MCU. Like just just to kind of break the mood, like you know, Ragnarok was a little funny, Guardians a little funny, but like take it to that. Like, I don't think they should have been as funny as they were. I think they could have been a little more serious, but you know, it was funny where it counted. But like, make a more fucking West Coast Avengers. How funny would that shit be? That'd be cool. Oh uh, yeah, it'd be cool. I heard um, in the Captain Marvel craze that Kevin Feige said that Captain Marvel is going to lead the Marvel Cinematic Universe now. Yeah, okay, we'll see about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, but people be mad. <laughs> I mean, it, it's like it. it is what it is. Although someone had made a, a video talking about like, okay, everybody cried for diversity for Captain Marvel and the first superhero, but she ain't the first Captain Marvel. She, and I'm not even talking about Marvel. I'm talking about what's the first Captain Marvel, the black female Captain Marvel that came before Carol Danvers. They're like, if y'all wanted diversity so badly, why don't y'all use her? But that's okay. We know how things go. Look at this team. Like the like the West Coast Avengers is always like it's not even the B team. It's it's like it's the dudes like you know like when the siren goes off and it's like oh man we need the Avengers and they're like no you guys just stay here in case we need backup because mm -hmm. we don't need you but just just stay right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like it's. The West Coast Avengers is fucking like just hear some of the rosters from the West. You got Mockingbird, Wonder Man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it, it's not really a who's who of Avengers. It's just like these. It's the dudes. Like, oh, uh, okay, you you guys still around? You, you, okay, come on, let's go to work. Fucking do a fucking West Coast Avengers. That's what I say for the MCU. I mean, they had they had like I mean they had some decent dudes in their rosters, but it like at at their worst, like they had nobody. Every now and then they would get like a couple good dudes in the squad. Somehow ended up in the West Coast Avengers. But then they got called back to the main roster and they was like, all right, who's who's still here? A Wonder Man? Sure, he could stay. Yeah, Wonder Man can stay. <laughs> but like Wasp, uh, we don't need you right now, so you can hang out here with the West Coast Avengers. <laughs> it's like it's it's it's, it's crazy. <laughs> also, what I would like to see. Like, yeah, like, come on, my, fucking Mockingbird. Make Mockingbird sit your, Mockingbird sit your silly ass down. <laughs> like, nobody needs you. You, like, you, 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 you low, you a low, you lower level than fucking, goddamn, you just low level. Like, Mockingbird, last time I saw you was on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't even want you, Mockingbird. That's how low level you are. Uh, that's true. Now, nah, I'm not dissing the West Coast, Mr. V. I'm dissing the West Coast Avengers because the West Coast Avengers is trash. <laughs> <laughs> I show love for the West Side. But, uh, 
That West Coast Avengers, yeah. Do an Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight would also be a good movie. You know, like I said, dip into like you can go fucking go to Britain do Excalibur. Let's see Captain Britain and fucking Nightcrawler and Kitty Pride on a team with Phoenix. Like really do some like really tap into the Marvel universe, especially if you're getting your mutants back. There should be no reason why you can't do this. Yeah. Like now you 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 now sit at a point, Marvel, where you have no more excuses. Like if you got your mutants back, if you got your fucking if you literally got your your plate back with everything on it, there should be no reason why you can't dish out some some good eating. Like for real. Like do an Excalibur, do a Union Jack. You you literally now have like the shits open for you. The only person you still have on on temporary leave is Spider Man, and with the money you're making from him, and Sony's getting that piece, they 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 at the point right now they gladly to lend him out. <laughs> Uh, but but speaking of Spider-Man and MCU, I'm I'm hearing apparent reports. It's not confirmed, but uh, but there are reports going around that uh, that apparently Disney and Sony are working on a deal so that way they can have two uh, movie sp Spider-Man, one for Sony's universe and one for you know the MCU. <laughs> Why would they even do that? Ain't nobody. So Sony can't make a good Spider-Man. They've already uh, failed. Why would I, they? Why would they go? Why would they go out of their way to just lose? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's really stupid, but, but that's what I've heard. And again, nothing is confirmed. <laughs> this should be confusing. Unless, 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 motherfucking Sony's gonna make some kind of alternate universe Spider-Man. Like you, you not you, you can't fuck what what Marvel's already established now. Fucking yeah. Spider-Man, Spider-Man's MCU. You. You can't take that. You, yeah. You, you can't take that. That's yeah, you don't have to come up with your own shit after at this point. Uh, uh, and I don't care what anyone says. Spider Man Homecoming uh, was far better than the Andrew Garfield shit. Oh, yes. Come on. It's way better. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, no. Uh, 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 although there are some pe people that uh, that, 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 that like to call us idiots for liking Spider-Man Homecoming, you bastards. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they're, just, they're just some haters. Yeah, the 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 holiday uh, uh, haters. Give yeah, that's because that's literally one of the reasons why people hate Spider-Man Homecoming. I it's because of of, of ho Holland, which is a stupid reason to dislike like a film. That that's a dumbass reason. <laughs> not, not everybody likes Brie Larson, but, but the movie Captain Marvel was actually decent. So fuck off. <laughs> All right, uh, sorry, <laughs> it got a, a, a little bit of a meal there. I apologize. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, like I said, uh, MCU should just. Like I said, explore, go, 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 just go, go to go to headquarters and go look at your library and just see what you got. You know, this, this uh, it, it, uh, you, you really shouldn't have to. Marvel really shouldn't have to work that hard to come up with some ideas of what can we do next. Just, just look at your library. Um, uh, look, at your, like, look at your library. That's not Avengers. Not X Men, not Fantastic Four, and just look at what else you have there. And if you keep it all in the MCU, you can you could create a beautiful fucking thing if you really wanted it to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't think Marvel is like having much problems right now because apparently they have like a five more films planned. At after uh, Spider-Man Far From Home uh, with we'll, we'll, we'll more in, in the works. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's like if you want to continue to keep this thing going, you you can do it, and you can do it if, if, like I said, use the tools that are given to you, go check your library, see see what you have out there, 
and, and find where, where where these pieces of that puzzle can go. Because if you played it right, you can you can have so many like at the way they build it up the whole to Infinity Wars. You know, it took us ten years to get to Infinity Wars. You can do that with other storylines and other sequences. No, no problem if you do. Yeah. It. Hell, if you if you were smart and you really want to make some money, you can do the the main MCU, and then you can do an ultimate MCU, and you can make storylines. And if you want, you can have a whole worlds collide and ultimate and secret wars. You can do that whole shabazz if you did it right. And, and, it, and it would be and it would it would be so easy. Uh, so easy. You know, just 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 thinking about it, a secret a secret wars movie sounds incredible. Yeah, but but it's one of those things where, like, this is when I say this movie would be epic. It would take it would take a, it would take ten years to get to the secret wars because you would have to. Not only establish a keep establishing your main MCU and then establish a alternate universe. Yeah. So then when the worlds collide and you make your battle world, see, then that's when you can play with shit. Now say, okay, like Robert Downey Jr. If, say they can't use Robert Downey Jr. no more. He don't want to be Iron Man. But we have Alternate Universe is Iron Man, which is another Tony Stark, but he's just played by a different dude. Worlds collide. Robert Downey Jr. is no more, but we still got an Iron Man. He's just not Robert Downey Jr. no more, but he's Robert Downey Jr.-esque, and he's still Iron Man, and we can use him, and we can fold him in. You can get your Miles Morales. You can get whoever you want if you do it right. You can have that whole setup. You get the X Men, everybody, the whole setup, and you can make an epic three, two part movie with the Battle World and the Secret Wars. And then after it's over, you can start anew. You can almost hit a reset button, but you don't reset everything. You just, <clears throat> you just kind of like what comic books do when one of them set when the, when the event runs over and it's time to start anew. You go back to number one. But you still keep everything in the same universe. You're just now starting over again. Meaning everything that's happened prior, it's still it's still canon, it still happened. We're just now starting anew. <clears throat> I can't see anything, Wolverine, guys. Ow, my knee. Fuck. I mean Wolverine. My knee. You can do all that hot shit. Like I said, it, 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 if Marvel was smart, like I said, go go to the archives, get every comic book you can find, and just fucking bone up on reading. And I guarantee you, you you'll get you'll get ten years plus worth of movie material if you really fucking wanted it. Like you can literally, if done right. You could probably do this like how they, you know, how they gave us Twilight and how many fucking movies Twilight was that were full of bullshit. You could make a real Phoenix saga for like five films, or at least you could do. No, actually, make it yeah, make it five, and you could do the Phoenix saga towards the fifth, the third film. That's when you go to the Dark Phoenix saga, and then have your whole crescendo in the fifth film. And if you need more, then hell, make it six. But you can literally do the whole Phoenix saga in probably like five to six films, and it would be epic. It would be epic. People would bow to it. You can do a fucking Age of Apocalypse. You, there's so much shit Marvel could do if they did it right. So much. You, you, you would literally be making movies for the next probably 30 to 50 years with the content that you have. And they ain't all gotta be big blockbusters. 
Like they could just they just they could just be movies to suit everybody's needs. If you want if you want some kind of mystery, you could do like the alias and the Jessica Jones stuff. Or like even bring in a Spider-Man noir. You know, you want to do a mystery or something like detective shit, you can bring in Moon Knight. You know, like I said, if you want to do the cosmic shit, get Quasar or even like the man saying in the chat, do like a Origins of Galactus and the Heralds and all that other good shit, man. You can do that. You know, it doesn't always have to be Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, you can do there are there are other people living in space in the Marvel Universe. You can do the Star Jammers. Fucking, you can go find go go. They do a movie just about the Shi'ar Empire with fucking yeah. Gladiator and shit. Or let's actually see a Kree Scroll War. Like there's so much. Yes, Age of Apocalypse would be a good movie, like I said, but you would have to do it right. Like you have to, you know, you it, you would have to literally, like, you would have to plan this out. Like it'll have to be a couple films. So like a Dark Phoenix, like I said, five to six films from from beginning to the end, to, from when. And do it the right way. None of this. Oh, Gene was bored with the Phoenix. No, no, fuck that shit she we gonna do it comic book style she gonna get it then she gonna lose it then she gonna get it again she gonna go dark with it and fucking get the hellfire club get all that shit do it right you know if you want to then after that you can go with the full uh, the clone of Gene and Cyclops and they had baby Cable and everything. You can do all that shit. Like I said, if they did it right, Marvel could be making movies for 50, for the next 50 years. Just fucking go back to your library. There are enough storylines, story arcs to make good films. You don't have to really focus on one particular thing. That's the beauty of of Marvel. Everything's in the same universe, but sometimes what the X-Men are doing is self-contained from what the Fantastic Four is doing, because guess what? Fantastic Four's got their own shit going on, too. And you can you can make all those movies. They don't always have to co-mingle. They don't always have to cross over. You can just have these things happening in separate parts of the world or in the universe, but they're all in that same universe. <clears throat> you know, sometimes what the Avengers are doing don't don't affect the fucking Alpha Flight. It, it, you know, it don't affect them, so they don't have to get involved. You know, you can fuck around with time and, and, and manipulation. X Men versus X Men meets the Terminator. That that'd be a fucking pretty good movie. But see, the, see, but see, here's the thing, you. You 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 could kind of do that because the Terminator is nothing but a sophisticated sentinel. That's all the Terminator is is a goddamn sentinel, or not even. Since he's in smaller form, he's a Nimrod. The future sentinels, the Nimrods, which are more smaller, compact. So the Terminators are Nimrods. Yeah. Did Dark Phoenix come back alive and got inside the three girls? Um, no, fucking Phoenix. Phoenix was good, but she but she did some fucked up shit. So they had a trial for Jean Grey. If I can remember, I think she died. She might not have died. But then she came back, but got manipulated by the Hellfire Club, and they tried to take advantage of her with manipulation and hallucinogens. But she kind of raged, and then it became the Dark Phoenix. And see, the Phoenix has inhabited other people outside of Jean Grey. The Phoenix is a thing known as the Phoenix Force. It goes 
where it wants to go. So it, it had it has inhabited other people outside of just Jean Grey. It's just Jean Grey, the most popular person to had the Phoenix, but there have been other people who have possessed the Phoenix. So it's it's a long story. Jean Grey did not come back as a zombie, Mr. V. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at that. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> Actually, there is a thing. It is a, it, it, it's an Elseworlds thing from Marvel. Um, Marvel Zombies. Yeah, I know about that, but was Jean Grey in that? They're all in that. Marvel Zombies, everybody's a zombie. In fact, it's an... It's a legit world, like the multiverse of Marvel. There's an Earth where the zombies, the superheroes, are all zombies. Hmm. Like, in fact, in the last Secret World, part of Battle World, the outskirts of Battle World, was all the Marvel zombies, which are trying to eat people. <laughs> Marvel. The fucked up part was the zombies, they all ate Galactus <laughs> in one book and then got bestowed the power cosmic. So then they were just a bunch of dead zombie superheroes with Galactus's cosmic powers. And they were just fucking shit up. And it was crazy. Yeah, they, they, they did turn Galactus into a zombie too, yes. So yeah, Marvel Zombies is a good read. There's this this there's so many like okay, see this is how like I said, this is how you could print money. You could do a whole movie about Deadpool killing the Marvel universe. Because they made that comic and that comic is epic. Like Deadpool kills everybody in the Marvel universe. Like Make that movie. I'd go see it. Give it the R rating, all that good shit. Make Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. I'd, I'd watch that shit. It would be so meta. I mean, they did do a Punisher kill, kill the Marvel Universe too. You could do that. Uh, I would say do an old man Logan, but we got Logan. But I would kind of like the old man Logan, like with the high the inbred hulks. With the inbred hulks, yes, those. I want that old man Logan, who's walking around with a Hulk baby. <laughs> I want that old man Logan. As much uh, as as much as I, I enjoyed Logan, I still pref would like old man Logan. Like that, Logan. But see, these are the type of things you could make, Marvel could make. You know what? You can still, like I said, you can still keep your MCU, but you can do these types of movies where you can do movies from the past. You can do movies from the in the present. You can do movies about the future. Hell, you can give us a Spider-Man 2099. Yeah. Like these things can be made just as long as you do, like I said, you keep the Marvel Universe the same, discuss with all the directors and writers that if you're going to make a movie about this, stay in continuity with the rest of what we've produced. Don't, don't try to reinvent nothing. If it doesn't fit the formula of what we have here, then change it. Don't, don't try to rewrite. Like I said, continuity matters. So don't don't do some dumb don't make a movie about something in the past and then basically retcon everything we've done in the present. No, you need to stay in continuity. Don't don't be retroactively retconning shit. You like you know, don't come out of nowhere and be like, oh well, you know, Thanos had the jewels all the time, you know. No, no, don't don't do shit like that. Don't 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 come at me with that. Like, okay, here's the thing. Uh, now I haven't seen Captain Marvel, 
But I heard some things. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is the cat storing the cosmic cube in a pocket dimension in its belly? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Question. Here's the flaw of Captain Marvel. Last I recall, did not Howard Stark find the cube while they were searching for Captain America? Uh, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I do. I do. He did because when the Avengers happened and, and Fury went to Captain America to talk to him about the cube, what would, what did Captain America say? Should have left that shit at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, yeah. So, where in between Stark finding it, Shield then possessing it, did the cat get possession of the cube? Now, remember now, Captain Marvel takes place in the 90s. Yeah. When we get to the Avengers, they're still testing and working on the cube. Howard Stark found it way back, and I would guess after World War II, sometime during probably like the 50s or something. So he found the cube sometime in the 50s. The cube finds its way in a cat's belly, but then finds its way back into Shield's hands in present day. How? How did the cat get his hands on the cube if Howard Stark found the cube and also found its shield? Uh... Yes. Well, let yeah. me think about this. Uh, okay, so Howard Stark found the cube in the fifties, right? Yeah, because he when they were trying to, if if you watch, I think it was was it Captain America? It was one of the movies that came after. But Cap, Howard Stark was trying to find Captain America. In yeah. the process of trying to find Captain America, he found the cube. Yeah. Now, from what Avengers tells us, the cube was in their possession and they've been working on it and trying to harness his power. Remember they built weapons out of it that they had, they kind of took from Hydra. Cause yeah. remember Captain America got bad. He got mad about that when he found the weapons that they were, they were using the cubes power with. So that happened then that happened. Now, if, if Captain Marvel's telling me correctly in the nineties, that cube is in the belly of a cat. How did it get to the belly of a cat? If Shield had it this whole time, and uh, in, in, in no part, in no part of the Avengers of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we've had, did anyone ever mention that somehow the Shield, the the Cube, you know, got out of their hands? The only yeah. time they lost possession of the Cube is when Loki fucking took it. Yeah, because in Captain Marvel, they did lose possession of the cube, and then they found it on a ship, and that's when the cat gobbled it up. Um, but how did they? How did the cube get lost if it was in Stark's possession? That they did which, not. Which, well. which, which he, if memory serves me correct, in Iron Man Two, Fury tells Tony his father was one of the founders of Shield, so you had to. You had this cube in your possession, and you, 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 you clearly must have had it with Shield. So how did Shield lose it for you to obtain it? Even in with the soldier, when uh, Zoloff was talking about how they had Hydra all up the thing, they didn't even mention nothing about the cube. That it went missing. That it was gone. It was it, it, from what we all know, it was just there somewhere until until Loki took it into the Avengers movie. But somehow in Captain Marvel, it's in a cat's belly. That, sir, is what we call in the film business a plot hole. <laughs> yes, yes, very big, very big hole, very, very big hole. That's 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 the problem I'm I'm having with Captain Marvel. Like, okay, I don't, I got no qualms with the film, but there are some holes in your in your story because if, if I paid attention to ten years of this MCU. It, the cube ended up in point A, ended up in point point uh, fucking C, but now you're telling me there's a point B. How? How, Sway? How? 
I don't know. Yeah, My brain hurts. You know, yeah, 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 you know, there, 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 you know, there, there's a plot hole I can name in Avengers and Infinity War. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's plot holes, but but that one in particular to me it stands out because the cube yeah. the cube was such a big deal for yeah. probably about the first half of the MCU. Yeah, uh, like literally when it, when when the cube made its introduction in Captain America, it it set it set the events in motion and, and was a big deal. Until we figured out that it's a, it's an Infinity Stone, but it it was it was always a big deal. But then Captain Marvel comes, and it's like somewhere in between there, this cat got possession of this cube. But we were led to believe that it's always been in the possession of high, of like Shield. But somewhere in the nineties, when Nick Fury had two eyes and didn't get one scratched out by a cat. That it's in his belly. Like I said, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just calling, I, I'm calling the facts the way I've seen the facts. Like the, through no point of any time, and and the MCU's been good for exposition of things that we need to know if you pay attention to them. But at no point did they ever mention that cube going missing. And trust me, the Mar Marvel's MCU has been good for leaving those breadcrumbs and make you pay attention to shit and little yeah. Easter eggs. But that cube, that cube is always in possession until now. Captain Marvel says, "Uh, -uh. for 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 a period of time, it was stuck in a cat's belly." I'll be right back for a second. Yeah. <laughs> You bring it up, you bring it up. That was another problem I did have with Captain Marvel. Because, like, that was such a distraction. I was like, wow. Because the film did not explain how it ended up in the life of space. Yeah, it, it, the, 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 there's some holes in it, and it's like, you know, is what it is. I, I get what you're trying to do, but you, like I said, you're, you're already you're already fumbling the ball when you can't even keep in the continuity because you don't explain. Like, now, if they gave me explanation of how this cat or the cube ended up in this position, then I'd be like, I wouldn't even bring up the conversation. Yeah. But you you don't give a, you don't give a, you don't give any explanation of how this meant to how this became of when the movie has shown me that at this point in history, after Captain America crashes in the ice, sometime afterwards. So like I said, this is what are we talking forties, fifties after like during World War Two. Yeah, during World War Two. So at that point, Stark finds the cube. And then bringing us the present day of the first Avenger movie, Shield still has the cube. Uh, yeah. So much so that they called they called Doctor Sullivan to come look at it because they didn't know what they had, even though they've had the cube this whole time. And you would think, also, I, and I know this is hindsight, if, if 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 Fury was around when this when that happened with Captain Marvel. How is he not aware of it when he has the cube present day? They uh, have the uh, fury, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, that, uh, you know, I I can't answer that he, he, even if I tried. He has no reason to be unfamiliar with the with the with the tester Yeah, he should. He should. He, yeah. should. he should be. He should know this like the back of his hand at this point. Yeah, if he's one of the higher ups of Shield, he he should know. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> so uh, so it's like incredibly uh, confusing. It just just adds more questions uh, than it does give answers. That's all it does. That's yeah. all. It, like I said, I mean, I, like I said, Captain Marvel was whatever. 
but it to me has more questions. And it, it, it brings up more questions uh, than answering answers. It does. It really does. But, yeah. uh, but uh, like I said, I guess we'll just have to wait and see with end game. And I'm looking forward to it. Sam. Needs to hurry up and get here. <laughs> just one, just a one more month. Uh, that's all we got, uh, that's all we, I thought we got to win. It's one more month too long, man. I know. Uh, the, the, trust me, I'm suffering too. Just, just waiting for it. <laughs> but yeah, I think where's Jimmy? I think we're gonna wrap this up because your boy <laughs> got work in the morning. And again, as always, I want to thank everybody in the chat. Sorry, Matt couldn't be here tonight. He was. He said he was going to run late, but I guess he couldn't make it. But he'll definitely be back here with us next week. As always, if you want to check him out, he's on YouTube.com slash Mattitude22. Go check him out. As always, link will be down below. Let's be your boy Smith from Smith Super Awesome Reviews. Also, check me out. Link down below. Let me... Help a brother get. I'm trying to be like Mr. V. I'm trying to get in the 500 club, Mr. V. Get me to the 500 club. I'm back. But uh, yeah, we're just kind of wrapping up. Yeah. Doing the plugs. So uh, again, submit a super awesome review. Check me out. Next. I am Super Mario Zilla. You can call me Vinny. And I have a lot of reviews planned tomorrow. I am going to probably upload a new unboxing. And pretty much all, all I got to say, just check out my channel. And like I said before, if I hit 5,000 subscribers, I will do another giveaway. Um, you know me, Jimmy Lee. I not do, Jimmy Dean. Not Jimmy Dean. No, unfortunately, I'm just Jimmy Lee. But yeah, does it make the delicious breakfast sausage meats. You know, I've never had Jimmy Dean's. God damn you. How oh, dare you, I, I, sir? I was, I, this is creepy. I was ironically tutoring a paper today that was about Jimmy Dean's. But anyway, uh, if you're an alien predator goon like me, go check me out. I got a new video coming out tomorrow at noon about that new Resurrection Queen. So stay tuned. Nice. And do we already plug Matt? Yep. All right, remember YouTube slash. All right, Mr. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. No, Mr. V slipped before. YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, slash bad Check out uh, a boy. Also, check out Clickbait Wrestling. We also know have a Facebook group, so definitely come check us out if you're about wrestling, you're about that wrestling life. We do all. You can drop your comments. We like wrestling memes, so like definitely come check us out on Facebook, Clickbait Wrestling Facebook group, right next to the sanctuary, across the street from Mama Mama's Chicken and Waffles. Holla. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank again for joining. As always, it's... it's how we do things here at the number one show on YouTube. Thanks again for everybody in the chat for joining us. As always, you guys are the best chat ever. Yep. Always showing love. So definitely see you guys next week for another great show, more fig news, and just a lot of other great shit. So holla at your boys later. Peace out. Take care, people.